one o'clock Saturday, April 13th. And we just left Dane Point. We're motoring this pretty light wind out there. Um, headed to Newport. So we're gonna go assess the situation. Um, if we've got a decent spot to, to go um, uh, in the anchorage, if we've got uh, enough room and stuff like that, if it's not kind of a shit show there, we'll uh, we'll go anchor out, hook up uh, there overnight, and um, probably burn a couple steaks out on the grill. Just kind of a chill trip. We wanted to do something a little bit more ambitious this weekend, but got to get the flight tomorrow afternoon. So just didn't have the time. So we're doing something a little closer home. Captain Debbie is at the helm, doing a fine job. You could almost say that she's performing her job admirably. <laughs> yeah, about 10 after one. There's, we're just right outside of Dana Point here, heading out. Uh, might hear a little bit of wind. I think most of the wind is just a little bit of breeze and it's right on the nose. Of course, we're, we're motoring once again, but uh, to get the oil changed, the fuel filters changed, the transmission oil changed, uh, boat washed down, but we're gonna need to hose it down again when we're done with the boat and clean it. Uh, Cause we got nailed by some birds, but so far a pretty chill trip. 1.30. Downstairs screwing around while Debbie's minding the boat. Dolphins around here somewhere, allegedly. Where'd they go? So, so we're still motor sailing. Captain Debbie made the call to lift up the main. Uh, but problem is, I mean, we could fall off another 10 degrees. But we're at too hot of an angle, so we really can't even put up the head sail and sail unless we want to head to shore and then and then tack back. And there just isn't enough wind right now to make it worthwhile to do that. Here they are. Dolphins are here. Yeah, three o'clock. Got a few pelicans off to starboard. Cruising through. Anywhere between two and seven dolphins for the last 15 minutes or so. And we still have a couple, three hanging out. I can see four, five. Debbie's got the best seat in the house up in the bowsprit. Five after three. Tired of listening to all that racket from the engine and the wind. It's giving us just enough to sail on. We're not going that fast. A uh, couple knots or so. What are we doing, Debbie? About three knots? Uh, two and a half. Two and a half. That's it. Two and a half knots. Whatever. No big hurry. We don't have too far to go. Uh, probably about three miles to the entrance to Newport or so, three and a half, and we got another mile and a half inside the harbor. Is this is. We got a little situation here. It looks like, uh, there's like a bunch of balloons in the water. 
right up here. So we turned, we pulled in the head sail, we came in about 30 degrees off and we're gonna go in for a closer inspection, see if we can straighten this mess out. Pull it in towards you. You got it. Ah! Oh shit. Alright, we gotta make another pass. Ah! Fuck this up. <laughs> Epic failure. Quit pointing me with ah. quit hitting me in the dick with that pole. No, the... Alright, there you go. Got it? Four. We got another, another situation. Looks like uh, looks like another balloon. Debbie's in the ready position. I can't. I can't. Huh? I I can't see it because I'd be over where you are. How are we doing? All right. <laughs> All right, it's yours. Yeah, here. Let's let's try one more time. This is your last strike. Tell me if I need to go more port or starboard. Talk to me. All right, let's see it. Nice work. All right, it's 516. We are anchored at the anchorage. I'm cleaning up your mess. Yeah, we're doing all right. Maybe a little closer to that guy than I wanted to be. Um, these Danes really like to sail at anchor, so kind of tough getting situated exactly where I wanted to. 20 after 6. Life on the hook. Life on the hook. So we are here at Newport Beach. The anchorage. Take a look outside. It's quieted down a lot. Quite a few shenanigans going on up in here. I'm sure we'll see some more. Debbie's rocking my uh, best flannel. What's for dinner? Steak. <laughs> Steak. So we got a couple of steaks uh, out on the grill outside. Got some baked beans I'm going to heat up here pretty soon. And then uh, we don't suffer too much here. This is Chimay Grand Ale Reserve. So um, Debbie told me she got me a little surprise when she went to the grocery store. And I was very pleased to see the Chimay. We'll be using coffee mugs for the beer. Whatever, get over it. So we got some Mount Gay rum here, some friends um, gave us. Thank you for that. We finally cracked it. Um, probably should have cracked it when they were here. Uh, kind of a busy anchor up in this beast. All right. Seven thirty. So I think we're after sunset, technically. See a few of these party uh, yachts coming through, but other than that, we're just kind of chilling. Had a nice steak dinner, some baked beans, a little bit of a shot of Bailey's for dessert. A nice, not too bad. Uh, it's quarter after nine. Debbie's taking a nap. And Captain Ron on the tablet. Not too bad. All right. We're going to go ahead and weigh anchor. Do it now. A little close to us last night. But 
not a problem. The sucker's probably going to be dug in pretty good because uh, when I said I backed up uh, about 2,000 RPMs, we weren't moving, so I'm guessing this thing's going to be sunk in pretty good. All right, 706, we're right on schedule. Pulling up the anchor was an absolute breeze, but look at this mess. Well, one, I wish I had a washdown hose. I tried to kind of shake the chain and anchor as best I could to clean it off, but it's a total mess. It's the only thing that we can really do is kind of keep it on deck because it's going to be calm and we're going to be motoring all the way back this morning, I'm sure. And uh, hose everything down when we get back. About 10 after 8 a.m. Making pretty good progress, so it's nice when you've got the no wind uh, on your nose and the current in your favor, at least not pushing you back a little bit. So we're doing what? Uh, looks like about 2400 RPMs and yeah, five to five and a half knots, kind of bouncing back and forth there. Uh, it's a little over five knots pretty consistently, so be a pretty easy voyage here kind of patchy so we still have good visibility for the way back home and it's definitely clear behind us towards Newport Get you 930 check-in uh, just got a couple miles it's about three as the crow flies maybe a little less to data point about into the entrance to Dana Point Harbor. Sun's coming out. 10 a.m. all this uh, fog usually kind of starts burning off. All right, final stretch through Dana Point Harbor. Paddle boarders. The sea lion submerged. 